Hey guys, it's Denise here, Nola Collectibles, and welcome to my channel. I'm here today to do a thread up unboxing. I have a thread up 15 mixed rescue box here. Um, these guys go on sale, no rhyme or reason. You never know when they're gonna become live. You just have to hope that you catch them. So I'm excited to get into it. I've had this box for a little bit. It is from uh, Sewanee, Georgia. I've had a few boxes now from Sewanee, Georgia, which I think is always good because they tend to send me good items. Uh, so these guys are $48, and again, it's 15 pieces of quote-unquote rescue jewelry. And what I've got here, it's looking like I've got three baggies of jewelry, and that's what we got in that box. So let's go ahead and get into it and see what we've got here. Maybe we'll start with the bigger one here just to see what we're doing. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Denise Nola Collectibles. I am a part-time reseller. I sell primarily on eBay where my store name there is also Nola Collectibles. I do all jewelry. I have a passion for jewelry. I'm a lifelong jewelry enthusiast and collector. And so yeah, it's a, it's, you know, it's a fun time to, fun to kind of like parlay a hobby into, you know, something that earns me a little money. So anyway, that's the long and short end of it. We look, it's looking like we have um, a gold tone cuff bracelet here. And this one I'm seeing is new to tags and it is from New York and company. And so, you know, New York and company mall brand, and this one's marked $22.95. So this is a nice cuff. I like it's that it's new with tags. You can see it's like very shiny. There's obviously nothing wrong with it. Uh, clamper bracelet style, which a lot of people like because they don't have to mess with tiny little clasps that are difficult to put on and off to take off. Um, so, okay. So we have a brand new New York and company gold tone kind of modernist clamper bracelet. I will leave that guy right there. Um, jewelry for today is, uh, I have this crane, this kind of like Art Nouveau crane bracelet that I got when I did a trip to Pennsylvania. And then I have this beautiful Italian cameo ring, which I actually sourced off of Macari. Someone, um, didn't know the brand, so I was lucky, it was lucky for me and I got a deal on that. Uh, this here, a little bracelet here, gold tone with enamel, and this is looking like J. Crew. So another gold tone clamper style bracelet, this one with navy blue and cream enameling. Um, also very nice, also in good condition. So that's not bad. You know how I feel about J. Crew tends to do decently. Um, so yeah, so we have a little J. Crew in very, very good condition there. I feel like we have a lot of like empty space here. Let's maybe zoom in a little bit, just a little bit. And here, okay, <laughs> it's looking like I've got a bracelet in pieces, two pieces here. It is most definitely super broken. Let's see what we got going on here. Can I reconnect this? I don't, I don't know if I can, to be completely honest. Not while I'm here with you, but so it's kind of looking like this gold tone bracelet here. And we've got some crystal detail here, but like I said, it's in two pieces. Uh, so, oh, yeah, so this piece just broke off. So this is definitely not repairable, which is a shame. I'm not seeing any kind of brand on this, but it looks like it would have been a nice bracelet. It has a little bit of a vintage feel to it, right? Um, so, okay, great. <laughs> a broken bracelet. Thanks, thread up. I mean, I guess that's the rescue piece, right? They call these rescue boxes. And so <laughs> I guess it's like your mileage may vary sometimes, but that's, a, so it's kind of like a bummer. So one piece that's really not anything I could do anything with. Um, going into the second bag here and here I have a, a leopard print kind of leather wrap and we have, you know, a little looking at this. This is from Henry Bendel. Um, it's also got the signature Henry Bendel brown and white stripes on the inside. We have a little dangling stud kind of right there. And it is kind of got the logo right here on this little button right there. And then it closes like this. It says Henry Bendel there as well. This one, um, it's not in bad condition. I wouldn't say it's in like, like new condition. So, but you know, Henry Bendel now shuttered. Um, the department store on Fifth Avenue in New York City. I want to say it was between 53rd and 54th, if I remember correctly. I was there quite frequently. 
because I had a job that used to take me into that building um, all the time. But anyway, yeah, so, you know, the Henry Bendel items are a little bit more collectible these days, so I'll have to take a look at this. I'll see if I can clean this up a little bit because it looks like it has some, some kind of schmutz here. So I'll see if I can clean that up, and um, we'll take a look and see what this style of bracelet's currently selling for. So we've got a little Henry Bendel New York department store branded bracelet right there. What else do we have in here? I have a rose gold and crystal bracelet right here it is not looking like it has any kind of branding on it it's kind of giving me Swarovski vibes but I don't like I said I don't see any kind of um, maker's mark or anything on it it has the pieces on it so that you can adjust the bracelet if you want to make it smaller and it does appear brand new there's no scratches or anything on it it's kind of giving me this is kind of giving me like Avon vibes because Avon did make these bracelets with the removable links in many different styles of bracelets that they sold so we have that rose gold non-branded um, bracelet right there with some cubic zirconia or rhinestone detail we have that I'll put that there what else do we have I have a pair of faux tortoise lucite or acrylic hoop earrings those are looking kind of like very j crew ish to me but again these um don't have any kind of branding on them so they could be from anywhere they could be from claire's um so we have that pair of hoop earrings right there i have this bra this bracelet this ring i'm looking at really quickly just before i show you guys it is a um, cubic zirconia engagement style ring with a halo set large center stone, which would appear to be about carat and a 50, I would estimate, if this was reality. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> um, but we know it's, it's uh, probably cubic, big fat cubic zirconia. Um, but this is very nice. It, this could be set in sterling silver. Right off the bat, I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing a metal purity mark on it, but uh, this is very nice. It looks like a very small size. Yes, very small. Um, I would probably say maybe like a size four or four and a half. And um, again, just kind of meant to look like an engagement style ring in a, the very popular halo setting with a micro pave kind of detail going down the shanks there. Um, so we have that ring. That's nice. Focus up. And then what else do we have in here? A pair of earrings. And this is J. Crew. And these are seed bead, black seed bead, pro, uh, seed bead dangle earrings. And I'm going to show them to you like this. You can see here they've got graduated little kind of balls covered in seed beads. And we've got our little rhinestone right at the top. And they're set in that very typical J. Crew antiqued brass finish metal. So that's a nice pair of earrings. I like that. I feel like we've got a theme going on here. And if you're seeing this theme with me, let me know if I'm, that I'm not imagining this. The theme is obviously black and gold. It's sending me Saints vibes. <laughs> it's sending me the vibes after that game against the Giants. No offense, folks from New York. I'm from New York originally. <laughs> but the Giants were doing bad, but whew, that was not a good game. <laughs> uh, I have a little pouch here. It says uh, Ippolita. Ippolita is actually a pretty high-end brand, so this is exciting. <laughs> uh, it's got a little zippy in here, and we have a little bracelet, I think. Let's see. This looks like it's never been worn. Oh my god, this bracelet. This is like so tiny. It's teeny, teeny, tiny, and it says um, Ippolita 925. This is like the teeniest of tiniest little bracelet ever. It's kind of got like a, like a almost like a donut, round, modernist kind of... Um, pen a uh, little station in the middle that's where it says the Ippolita and this is nice it says 925 um, this is almost looking to me like something that maybe had come out of a high-end subscription box service maybe like a Rachel Zoe box of style uh, just because like I said Ippolita generally is a pretty high-end brand sold at stores like Saks Fifth Avenue and they make um, really nice modern beautiful fine jewelry so that's nice um, even if it did come from a subscription box, I will take it. It's a very nice piece of jewelry, and I think I could probably sell it. And hopefully, if it did come from a subscription box, it's we're not dealing with a super flooded market. But I will check things out and see, you know, where that might land me. We'll see. Okay. Wow, this went so fast, you guys. Um, am I going too fast? I'm going to talk fast. But... <laughs> Last bag here, Ziploc bag. Let's see what we got. 
deep things. What a tangled mess these guys, like they just kind of threw everything into these Ziplocs. Um, what is this? Let's see. Okay, well, this is a Dana Buckman necklace here, gold tone with kind of a faux lucite. They kind of look like um, Bakelite, don't they? It's swirled, but it's just like a faux kind of acrylic look. Um, this is really nice. I'm gonna show you this. Dana Buckman, I think, is one of probably the most <laughs> um, unidentifiable brands of jewelry to people who just kind of start getting into jewelry. They see this, and I don't really blame them because it, it's really hard to decipher. Uh, it looks like two Bs, but they're actually, it's a D and a B, and so this is a brand that's uh, sold at Kohl's, a store, uh, store like Kohl's. Um, so that's likely where this probably came from. It's a nice, it's a nice necklace. I like it. I think it's very modern. I think it's pretty chic. It's probably, it's probably really great for fall. It's a nice layering piece. I like that it's chunky, but Dana Buckman, um, not the biggest um, kind of resale value there. Since like I said, it is a brand that is sold at Kohl's. What else do we have here? I have a necklace from Aunt Taylor. Ann Taylor, are we talking Ann Taylor Factory? Yes, Ann Taylor Factory. So uh, the outlet of the Ann Taylor store. And again, we have this kind of lucite pendant or acrylic pendant on a gold tone chain. Also, I think this is very nice, very minimalist design. I like the dual color of the white and kind of like this brown shade, this um, tortoisey, faux tortoisey kind of brown shade on the bottom. This is a very fall appropriate box, I feel. <laughs> We've got tortoise and black and gold and leopard and leopard. 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 I don't know, I'm starting to lose it, you guys. It's, you know, it's, you know, it's the weekend. <laughs> My mind is turning to mush. I allow it to turn to mush because I need to relax on the weekend. Anyway, um, so yeah, we have a little pendant necklace there from Ann Taylor Factory. Ann Taylor, for whatever reason, doesn't do like so well for me in terms of resale. Um, I don't know. I mean, and it's such a cute brand, obviously. Like Ann Taylor is um, always very cute, but I guess, you know, if we're talking about the factory, we're not talking about super high retail prices to begin with. We have another J. Crew necklace here. This one, a more traditional kind of J. Crew. We're gonna need to move all of this, or should we? Zip? Let's see if we could zoom out a little. Ooh. A little bit, just a little bit. We'll move these guys aside so we can check this J. Crew necklace out right here. So I have this J. Crew, pretty standard kind of statement style J. Crew necklace. Um, again, on that kind of antique brass colored metal. This is in very, very good condition. Nice colors here. We've got some navy blue. We've got some cornflower blue. We've got um, some opaque. We've got some clear rhinestones, additional rhinestone details and clear kind of throughout. So really nice kind of J. Crew statement -y looking necklace right there. So that's good. Um, always trying to sell the J. Crew. Still consecutively sells for me pretty consistently. Um, you know, it's not the hot mover that it once was, but uh, Every now and then I sell another piece of J. Crew. I just leave it there, sometimes end the listing and relist it just to invigorate it a little bit in the sales algorithm, um, but it does still sell for me. Um, so that's not terrible. And uh, now another Ann Taylor piece, Ann Taylor Loft here this time. And this is very cute, I think. It's a very delicate chain and we have multicolored kind of, what should we call this, slabs? like little slabs of, you can see they're movable and they're all different colors and then they've got gold in between them. It's very cute. I like this. I think this is very wearable. I like if you're anti-statement and you don't like wearing giant jewelry, that's not jewelry, that's giant by my standard. <laughs> but I'm just saying, uh, this is del definitely a little bit more delicate, a little bit more lightweight. I think also very nice for fall because it has all of these lovely multicolored lucite or acrylic pieces there and um, nice length. Like I said, very, I think, wearable and lightweight and um, also very chic. So that's a cute necklace. I think very, very nice in excellent condition. All this jewelry for the most part, save for that broken bracelet, which really is kind of a shame because it looks like good quality but it's a bummer it doesn't even look like the whole thing's there anyway i digress um let's move on 
next piece here, it says VB, and it is a faux turquoise, very long layering style necklace here. Like I said, very, very long. Let's move this one over here, and then we can look at this gold tone metal, little gold kind of rectangular beads in between the faux turquoise. Nice layering piece. See this here, VB. I am unsure of what VB is. If you know what VB is, I, I am thinking Victoria Beckham, but Victoria Beckham, which is the first VB that comes to mind for me, is uh, very high end. So unsure, unless she does have a lower price line that might be sold somewhere else that I'm not aware of. I'll need to research this a little bit, but I think I can get there with keywords and pretty quickly figure out who the maker of this is. Um, so yeah, it's just like I said, a faux turquoise, very long gold toned tassel necklace. We have that. And then this looks to be the final piece. Just gonna look at this very quickly. You know I have my loop here. Oh, I always lose my loop. I have like three now. I just leave them around my house because I pick them up, I put them down, I toss them in my purse when I go thrifting and uh, to garage sales so I could always check things out should I need to. I see. Okay. So this is actually very nice. I will show you in one second. It's, it says Italy 925. So we have an Italian sterling silver necklace. This is actually very, very nice. It has a, um, it's kind of on a very, it's a very slinky, sleek style mesh style necklace. Um, reminds me of the brand Diadema. That is an Italian brand. They make this mesh style necklace in bracelet form, necklace form, um, very common for them. I don't think that this is diadema, but like I said, this is very, very nice. Look at this oversized lobster claw clasp, which is always nice because it's easier to take on, put on and take off. So I like that. It's got a nice length to it as well. This is, I don't know. I think this is very nice. I like the um, end caps that we've got right here at the bottom as well. So. I think there's some really kind of chic elements here. I like the way that this is finished. Yeah, this is a really nice necklace. This is a very nice, nice quality Italian made sterling silver uh, necklace. And so you guys, I'm apologizing for all the noise. You've gotten, we've got phone not notifications. We got cat notifications. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying here, but it just seems to, Nothing's working with me today. Anyway, so yes, this is the final piece here in this in this box, this thread up mixed 15 piece. Overall, what do I like? I definitely like this Italian necklace. I do like the J Crew. Um, I do love that Ippolita. I'm gonna have to look further into that. That sterling silver. The J Crew bracelet is nice. The J Crew earrings. Henry Bendel, not a bad thing. And yeah, I don't know. The loft piece is, like I said, very cute, but we'll have to see what I end up doing with that. The broken bracelet, super bummer. Uh, really, it's uh, I, I don't think I've gotten broken pieces in thread up boxes in a very long time. At least, uh, you know, you get them in the DIY boxes. You don't get them in the mixed. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Um, thumbs up or thumbs down. Is this a winner? Chicken dinner? or are you unimpressed with the mole brands? <laughs> Let me know what you think. And anyway, I appreciate you tuning in as per usual and give me a subscribe if you haven't already, you guys, and give me a thumbs up. I so appreciate you being here. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you at the next one. Bye.